Amanda. It's been 1,809 days since we started dating. Those 1,809 days have been the most fun, rewarding, and best days of my life. I can't help but think about how this next chapter in our lives and how happy it makes me just thinking about it. Today we bark on a new journey as husband and wife. My name is Nick. I am the least experienced of the two best men as I only met Dylan uh, seven or eight years ago. And, uh, but at least I made the cut, guys. So better luck next time to everyone else that's known him for longer. <laughs> Stand up with my pride. I was born to toe the line. I'm ready to light the fire inside. It was a, a beautiful Sunday morning. I was on a drive back down to Memphis and uh, I get a call from Dylan. And this is about March timeframe of 2020. So I answer and, and I said, what's up, you know? And so we're, we're doing a little bit of small talk, chit chatting here. So what's, the, what's up? So he goes, um, Chris, he says, um, I'd like to ask your daughter's hand in marriage. I said, of course, but I have to ask you a question. I have to ask you, how, how does she react when you ask her? And he answered quite, quite simply, he said, I haven't asked her yet. And so I think that part of that really struck home with me. It, it, it's the kind of person that Dylan is. When I first met Dylan, I liked him because he also liked books. And in this day and age, you really don't come by that very often. He's ambitious, highly motivated, and I knew it was on a lifelong journey to being his best self, which he's going to bring to their marriage. It's common to hear that younger siblings really look up to their older siblings. And Amanda doesn't let me forget it. And it's always from the most genuine, loving, and sincere place. She always reminds me to be the best that I can be. But Amanda, the thing is, I look up to you. the similar quality between Amanda and Dylan that they both share that I think makes them a great friend and a great family member, but even better couple for one another. 
and it's their selflessness. They are extremely selfless for their friends, they're selfless for their families, and they are completely 100% selfless for one another. I love you. When we first met and got to know each other, I was impressed by your intellect, your honesty, your caring for others, and your natural beauty. Not only are you the most beautiful woman in the world, but your beauty from the inside is what shines most bright. I still have a note in my phone entitled Picture Perfect. That hasn't been edited <laughs> since 2017. <sighs> I go back and read it on occasion just to bring a smile to my face. My favorite passages are, you're an excellent kisser. Your favorite season is fall. You have beautiful blue eyes that sometimes have a green tint. And your smile is contagious. And your love gives me hope. Your smile gives me joy and your presence makes me a better man. I feel like I can conquer the world with one hand as long as you're holding the other. I can't believe the day has finally come where I get to call you my husband. I'm so thankful for the friends who led me to you and to the friends and family who I've gained because of you. I'm so grateful to have found someone who is so charismatic and driven, who both loves me and supports me for who I am. I'm a better person because I know you. I'm able to grow with you and learn with you and learn from you. I step outside my comfort zone with you because you give me the confidence to do so. I've cried with you in both the highest and lowest moments of our lives. You taught me how to communicate my feelings and most importantly I know what love is because of you. Each new moment of life has become my new favorite step. Graduating together buying our first houses together, moving in together, rescuing a dog together, changing jobs together, soon starting a family together, becoming parents together, raising our children and doing our best to instill wisdom and a desire to be courageous and brave, just like their dad. <laughs> Letting them make mistakes and learn lessons on their own, but being there for them every step of the way, together as mom and dad. I want to do everything with you, and I know I'm able to do all of this because of you. You let me find myself, and you taught me how to love myself. You taught me how to stay true to myself, and you challenged me to think differently. I think wider and larger because of you. One thing that Dylan loves the most about Amanda is her selflessness and caring for other people. This is shown countless times again in her interactions with friends, family, Grover, and people she has just met. Throughout their story, Amanda says that Dylan has seen her in her best moments and worst moments and loves her for who she is. Dylan, as you place the ring on Amanda's finger, please repeat after me. I, Dylan. I, Dylan. Take you, Amanda. Take you, Amanda. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. 
for richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Dylan and Amanda, you have come here today of your own free will and in the presence of family and friends have declared your love and commitment to each other. You have given and received the ring as a symbol of these promises. By the power of your love and commitment to each other, and by the power vested in me by the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Friends and family, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Dylan and Amanda Cook. Dylan, I know you'll be a great husband. You have always been there for me, especially during some of my tough days as an adult and even as a kid. The way for you or as me as a friend is a great indicator how you'll always be there for Amanda. Shout out to the bartenders for having drinks in our hands. Yeah. love to the newlyweds, to my new brother-in-law and sister, Mr. and Mrs. Cook. Oh, babe. I'm so happy to, to be here with you. We made it. We made it. We made it. Hard part's done. Hard part's done. <laughs> I just got a not trip later. <laughs> <laughs>